live in a wonderful time right now where people, it sounds cliche, I'm sure you say it all the time, but create your own work kind of thing, but like, I don't know if you know who Issa Rae is, I don't know if you know who Donald Glover is, but like now you live, we live in a space where a young black woman, Issa Rae, created a YouTube series that then got picked up by HBO and now she's living, I, don't, I, I hesitate to say living the dream because I think that there's, like, there's a flaw in that, in that, but she's doing things. And so I think the thing is you, you find out what matters to you and as much as you define yourself by the auditions that you're getting and by the things that your agent sends you on or whatever it is, you create and let know, and you let people know your truth and your nuance, which is so much more complex than somebody looking at you and saying you're a person of color, you're black, you're Arab, you're, you're brown. You continue to do that, but I think that like in this day and age of actor, agent, casting director, manager, director, we distance ourselves from our own creative impulses. And as I understand art, like there's a, there's an African word named griot. And a griot is somebody who would sit in the village and tell people stories. But that also means that they're like a producer, director, and writer, because if they're creating the story and they're talking to the village, they're doing all of these different things. So I think we have to connect to that impulse and not ask for permission. And now like, you, pro I, do you have an iPhone? So you have access that people 20 years ago just didn't have. Yeah. And so use it, use it and, 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 um, and speak up for yourself. If you feel like you're not being respected, don't be scared. If somebody's saying something that feels like it's putting you in a box, that, that, that is, that is um, speak up and keep fighting. Yeah.